Okay, y'all, so today is a super exciting day because we get our new anthropology group. I'm excited. Come on. It's the Christmas socks for me, but in other exciting news, y'all, I went to Home Goods the other day to find um, another picture frame for Mackenzie's room. I don't know if y'all seen that video by now, but second child, hold the buckle. But um, I found the nicest brass mirrors to go in our room. Y'all know I was telling y'all I wanted some tall gold mirrors, baby. Home Goods up. I'm super excited. Super excited to show y'all. Okay, y'all, when y'all see my socks, mind your business. If you see anything in the background that make my room look messy, mind your business. Okay, so. Here are the mirrors. My feet cold, y'all. That's why my socks don't match. But here are the mirrors. That's the focal point. Y'all, these mirrors are so gorgeous. Like, I don't even think the camera is doing it justice. I know everybody say that, but um, I'm being serious. This is kind of an idea of what it looks like out of the box. And then the color of it is like a brass color, almost like an antique brass color. These are the exact same color as my stools downstairs. These mirrors are so heavy. I say, I feel like I said that about everything, but when things are heavy to me, it, it's, it's like higher quality, if that makes sense. But y'all, it was only two of these. I was minding my business at home good, just walking through the aisle and looking for a picture frame. And I was like, ah, no, they didn't. And then they were $80. What? Y'all, if I was to go online, and look for these at like CB2 West Elm, you know, Creighton, you know, all them type of stores. Easily $400. Miss me, okay? These are so nice. I am super excited. So y'all think about the crushed um, velvet pillows that I got. See what I'm talking about? It's the laundry basket for me. The crushed... Um, golden oak picture frames that i told y'all i mean not picture frames what do you call those things jesus pillowcase uh, please hold okay y'all sorry i have to gather my thoughts but the crushed velvet golden oak pillows that i got from west elm think about the richness of that color with these brass mirrors and then i got a couple of things to style on the nightstands I am so mad at myself for not getting these catch-all trays from Target. I seen two of them, but the stone looked kind of, or marble, whatever it was, it looked different. Like the two shades were different. So I was like, no, I ain't gonna get them. And now they're sold out everywhere. You can't even get them online. So now I'm on the hunt for that. I hopefully we'll find something at home gets whenever I go. But y'all, I'm super excited about doing our room. Like everything that you can currently see. I'm not turning this camera around. Y'all ain't been talking about me. But everything in this room, um, I'm going to be taking out and moving to our guest bedroom. So that'll be in a separate video. I don't know. I might do this this part of this video. I actually might do that because I'm so ready to get everything cleared out. Hold on, y'all. But basically, um, I, I don't remember what I was saying because I got distracted between that last clip and now because Bing getting into stuff. But, um... Like I'm actually hoping that once I put these mirrors over over here, it doesn't overpower the nightstands because my nightstands are slick, kind of small, and these mirrors are big and just you know. But I think I feel like I can make it. Bing. Oh Jesus. Come on, girl. Chill. Um, but I feel like I can make it work, but. Y'all, I'm just ready to get everything out of here. Um, you know, when you first move in, you want to get the bedrooms kind of like somewhat set up because you you want to feel like it's home because it's new, it's different, you know what I'm saying? But now we're pretty much settled in the house. We know this is home. So I don't mind my master bedroom being empty. Like I'm excited about having like a clean slate and just doing like a master bedroom refresh and really getting like, you know, everything to look and feel how we wanted it to. Like the way that it looked before, it was very like cozy and you know, y'all know, 
if you go back and look at my videos, my master bedroom, especially my living room, and my office have all gotten makeovers. They look nothing like they did when I originally decorated them. But you know, sometimes you just have to, like I told y'all before, I think I've said it plenty of times before, I said it for my home decor, for amateurs video, you know, sometimes you have to sit in a space for, you know, sit in that space with the decor and let it speak to you. And sometimes you just, you know, a few months pass by and you're like, mm, I need something more, I need something different. So that's how we are with this. I'm just really excited about the master bedroom. Like I told y'all, I really wanna take my time with it and get it to be exactly how we want it to be. So um, I think now that the downstairs where, you know, it was like the larger furniture pieces, um, considering the downstairs is pretty much done with the exception of the master bedroom, I mean the guest bedroom, and I know what I'm doing with that, um, now I'm able to really focus on like going to home goods for a purpose or going to, you know, now I'm able to focus on like shopping with a purpose. Like I know I'm looking for specific things for specific rooms and I'm not just like all over the place overwhelmed like, damn, I need to buy for this room and this room and this room and this room. Like I have my list of everything I want to do, everything I want to accomplish for each room. And I'm just checking each of those things off. So really excited. I also want to do a rug in here. I think I told y'all that. I'm gonna quit rambling on about this because I feel like I tell y'all every single video what my plans are, but that's why you're here for home updates and to talk about my house, period. But y'all, Bean's into something. I know she is. Let me go, bye. Hey y'all. You really shouldn't be eating that bean. So the, um, the cop, I mean the, what you, what's the, what are we waiting for? The mirror hasn't gotten here yet. But I want to show you all the pot and pan set that I got from Home Goods. So it's these. I need to clean them. But I like that it has like this rubber on here that's removable. And then it just exposes the glass. Wooden top. And this is a gray color. They had it in black. But I didn't like this, <clears throat> the speckles in the black. But I love the detail on it. I love the wooden handles. These are dishwasher safe. This one's $14.99. And then I got this size. This one was $19.99. Here's the lid that goes on it. And then I got, is this called a skillet, y'all? Whatever. You know, a little saute one. This one was $24.99. And it came with this lid. And then I got this big one, like a stew pot. My husband like making, um, what you call it? Stewed chicken. This one was $29.99. Super big. This would be good to cook a pot of greens in too. And then there was a lid to that one. I thought these were really cute. Aesthetically please and hopefully they work out good. I've never had this brand before. The brand is DNW, DN and White. We'll see the art to tab off of them, so well, I mean it still has the price thing on it. Anyways, I got these. I only have like I have that big red pot that I use when we're trying to cook something big, but other than that, I only have this. I don't even know if you call it stainless steel, aluminum, whatever you want to call it. This is the trade, trade of tool, tool to trade from Macy's. So I made me some room down here for my pots and pans to sit. Got your little roaster thing right there. Come here, girl. She be in everything. Come on, Ben. Tell me. Y'all see how she crawl? She crawl, walk. <laughs> y'all, the mirror is here. I got something funny to tell y'all too, but the mirror is here. Don't mind the styrofoam and stuff on the floor. Don't mind my socks. Are y'all ready to see this beautiful ass mirror? Oh my gosh, y'all. Pete, oh Jesus, my heart. <gasps> it is so big and so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Y'all, and to think that I actually called to cancel this and they were like, it's already been shipped. Ooh, focus. Y'all. 
I'm so in love. Don't mind the mess behind me. Don't mind being in the background. Look at this. Listen, we live here. Y'all, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look. Like, the black is more of like an ashy black. It's, it's gorgeous. And I put this in the corner. I don't even know if I'm moving this back over here. This is the tray thing that I showed y'all. So we got like this little snuffer thing, this, and then I have a clipper thing that I need to sit in here. So our remote's going there. And then this is the other thing that I had got. I forgot to show y'all this, but it's just a cute little chest thing. This actually matches this. So I put it on this end to break it up a little bit. But I think that's all I'm sitting up there. I just wanted that to be really simple. I ain't need a whole bunch of going on. I might do a vase. I might put that plant over there. It just depends, y'all. But I'm gonna get two cushions. I've seen um, two on Crate and Barrel that I might get, but they're kind of like light gray. Little cushion things for people to sit on. And then I want to find a floor lamp that hangs over like this. So when you just wanna sit in here, read, write, whatever you wanna do, you can do that. But y'all, I love it. Let me know what y'all think about this mirror. If this mirror go back on sale, run do not walk it is absolutely gorgeous this camera does not do it justice and my outfit is so tacky but i'm at home i'm comfortable all right but y'all we about to oh if y'all seen my last vlog where we did the groceries baby empty i told y'all the groceries do not last long in my household i need some more creamer too anyway so we're about to go do some self-care today i want to do some um who was it maddie I want to do some planning and like goal setting and stuff and then I'm taking my kids because we're going to have like a, what is it, like a feminine hygiene day. And basically we're just going to go and get all the things that attribute to good hygiene. I've been trying to teach my kids this. If y'all got kids, y'all already know. Sometimes they'd be like, I want to take a bath, I want to take a bath, I want to take a bath. And then they go through these phases where they're like, can my bath from yesterday be for tomorrow and the day after the day? No, you are a woman in the making. You are ooh, a little bit of creamer in there. You need to take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Do you have any appointments today? Yes. What you got? I'm getting my lashes done. One, why? No, I don't want to get It's the haters like that that swoop in and try to cancel your whole self-care day. You see that? I just told my kids, y'all ain't going nowhere else with me. Because y'all get some of my last nerd in there playing in that stole. Like they ain't got nobody home training. If y'all don't have this, 10 out of 10, recommend. It's a sleep mask, but it my lips don't know when I'm asleep, so I wear it all day. But yeah, my kids was in Target acting like they ain't have nobody home training. Sorry. She said sorry. But we got us some. Um, school told me that Zara doesn't fix it. 
I mean, it that is that's a wise child. But it's okay to apologize when you write. You know, you clearly done something wrong. Anyways, y'all yeah, got these. These are supposed to be like Bottega dupes. I got these off Amazon. Fifteen dollars. I'll link them below. Very good quality. Very heavy. Very durable. This is my self care. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. But no, so we went to um, Buy the Mighty Works. Spent more than I wanted to. Man, they're trying to smell like the whole store. Then we went into Target and got some body wash, some cleaning essentials and stuff. And now I'm going to be like for my last appointment. I'll show y'all. Shut up. Ain't nobody asked you, Jack Squat. Put y'all seatbelt on. Um, you see what I'm saying? Um, I'll show y'all what we got when we get home. When we get home. <laughs> <laughs> Loving you is an endless game. No, Stop. Why are you stupid? Baby, who baked tonight? Shit, no, mind. My face is dry, but I got my lashes back. Mmm. Mmm. Self care. I don't like getting my lashes done as a self care task, but when my lashes done, self mother care, baby. Love it. All right, let me show y'all what I got from Bath and Body Works. And then the stuff from Target. I need y'all get them bags out of uh I need y'all get y'all them bags out of the car. So I got this as a candle and it was oh my god, it smells amazing. So this is strawberry pound cake. This is actually the body wash. I hope you know I don't use body wash. I just use it on, you know, everywhere else. But it has shea butter and cocoa butter in it. So I'm hoping it's moisturizing. Y'all, I had somebody had gave me these hand so um creams a while back. So I got this one. They have a foot cream, but apparently they don't sell anymore. Y'all that foot cream. Why not? But she said this one was a good one. Then I got Pure Wonder, Shea Butter. I can't tell this. That's the one, one that's the spray I got. And then I got vanilla butter cream. So this one's gonna be real sweet. And this is also a shea butter, but I thought the, I don't know. I might have to get this one, y'all. That might get on my nerves. I don't know why I did that. Yeah. Kenzie about to show y'all what she got. I got a strawberry pound cake spray. Oh, and then we also got these. We each got one of these. I'm gonna test this out now. This one. Yeah. And then, I mean, it's I good. got it's really sunshine sweet. mimosa. Mm -hmm. mm. Then honey wildflower. Girl, quit knocking the dog on the camera. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> Let's see it. It's lotion. And I got some lip gloss too. It's been in these Christmas pajamas for me. And then I got peach. Prosecco macaroni. Prosecco, that's what I'd be drinking. Prosecco. And then lastly is the bubbly rose. Not lastly. Is that a word? Yeah, it's a word, chat. Oh, that smells good. Maddie, you gonna show what you got? Hmm. I put some of that. Okay. They might do a little bit of something, y'all. Twelve fifty. Well, three. I already put mine on before. It feels good. All right, show them what you got while I go get the stuff out. Of Call her so I can get the stuff out of the car. So, does that say pure wonder? Mommy, I got the pure wonder spray just like mommy got the um this hand lotion. I got. Coconut, coconut um, daydream, sugared snickerdoodle. <laughs> um, I got the same one as Kenzie. Honey, um, wildflower. Mm. 
first berry Mary I'm just going to call it whipped berry. And then I got lip oil. Lastly, I got um <laughs> vanilla sugar hand sanitizer. All right. Ooh. Oh. So y'all, I can't go to Target now without going to the home section, but I got this cute vase. I thought it was, this is actually a planter, but I'm gonna use it as a vase in the loft area. This is $35. And then the rest of this stuff is like home essential cleaning stuff, because, you know, for me, I like to, it's self-care when you can do it because you want to, not because you have to. So when I have to clean up, I don't like it. When I make the decision to, so I needed a duster because, oh, I seen this video going around that says you can add a combination of stuff and wipe down and it eliminates, prevents the dust coming back quicker. Got some more of this Method Daily Granite Cleaner. So I use this for my countertops. My countertops are actually quartz, but it says it's for a granite marble and stone. I feel like it's all in the same family. Some more dishwashing things. We put up soda because I want me a margarita. Mm -hmm. And I feel like need that to balance out. I got some Tide washing machine cleaner. Um, our washing machine is disgusting. I'm just going to put that out there. Some Cascade dishwasher cleaning stuff. Um, I got me, I love the organics um, body washes. The sea kelp and something else. The green bottle is, oh my God. So refreshing. This one smells good too, but it's more of a like a vanilla type scent. I got this cute glass water bottle. I'm about to put me some water in here, y'all, but I got it because it was aesthetically pleasing. That's it, that's all. This was $10. I like the aesthetic. And it's glass. She does. Uh -huh. And then, um, I think I saw her in the um, store. Amai showed these on her um, one of her vlogs that she gets these for her kids, so. We decided to try this for the kids. They normally use um, a we. I don't know how I like that watermelon. Y'all like it, so that's all that matters. So they both got one of those. And then I got me some more moisturizer for my face. Some cleaning things. And then Maddie got some Vaseline. And also got some Canada Dry. Um, ginger ale. Pure white Hennessy. And Chef's we're gonna kiss. have some Olive Garden for dinner. Yes, we're having Olive Garden for dinner. Can I so, some ginger ale? I don't care. I don't care. Wait, my boobs are right full. Now. And for I don't care. Okay? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It's the lashes for me. <laughs> it's the lipstick for me. Oh, period. Hey, y'all. So, we gotta run some errands today. Quite honestly, I don't feel like going nowhere. My head hurts, whatever. Anyway, so I showed y'all this vase that I got from Target and I literally been walking over my entire house trying to figure out what to do with this vase because they're not sold online. There was only one more left in store in the large size and then one more left in the smaller size. And I'm like, I really like this vase. Like it's the Geo Planter base. Well, it's not a base, it's a planter, but same thing, right? So as y'all can see, I set it right here. And I don't know if I'm gonna put something in it. I think it'll be cute with some flowers or something. But I think that's cute. And then they had these um, smaller vases for like $10. They have like the little lid things on them. And I'm thinking about getting like four and putting them under there just so it's not like empty. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I really honestly just thought about that. Not that I'm like, I gotta have something right there because I don't. But considering I put that plant up there, that planter up there, I think I might do that. It's a lot of cream in here. It's very light. Y'all see? It's very light in here. But anyways, we are um, going to the Peloton store. I don't really want to go. Um, but my husband wants to get a, um, what do you call it, a treadmill to go ahead and put in our basement. So. We don't feel like going to the gym. He can just go downstairs and run. He loves to run. Me, I don't know. I feel like it'll be good because I don't really like working out like that. But I need, I need to start. But anyways, y'all, this cup that I showed y'all, 
from um it was only ten dollars from target but let me show y'all this like if you wanted to you can remove this part and it looks so nice it's just all glass now baby when you read the care instructions it's like i should have left you at the thing don't nobody feel like thinking about how to take care of no water bottle put the thing in the dishwasher and keep it moving top rack dishwasher only can't dishwash the, the lid you gotta um Put the water in before you put the ice in. Don't let the ice drop into the bottom of the western room. I said, could y'all make a, a water bottle any more convenient than this one? Look at that. For all my people who like aesthetics, this is so satisfying. And you can't put hot stuff in here, but I think that's a, a no-brainer. That was so extra. But yeah, I think this is cute. Pure glass. But anyways, so I'll see y'all whenever we go to the Peloton store. I also need to go to H&M today. I got two things to take back. Um, I don't know. If it's interesting, I record it. If not... See y'all in a little bit. Okay, y'all. So me and Bean are headed to the mall. I told y'all we were supposed to go to Peloton, but I just let my husband go by himself. I honestly, I didn't feel like going to the Linux area. I don't like being in the Linux area, and I just wasn't in the mood. I don't know, y'all. I've been kind of like, I think I'm just tired, drained mentally because, like I was telling y'all in one of my videos before, like, um, it's just a lot. Like I had. I ain't even gonna get into that, but <laughs> um, I just wanted, you know, just a relaxing day. Honestly, don't like running errands with my kids because it's just something extra to keep up with. If you know, you know, like it ain't nothing against the kids, but you know how it is. You gotta get everybody together. There's extra people you gotta be responsible for. And I just be wanting to go into the store and be responsible for my purse. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't wanna keep up with extra stuff, so. It's just me and Bean, so it's not as bad. Like, I brought my little carrier thing that I can put her in so I can have, like, my hands free and stuff. But, you know, if she started crying while we in there or, you know, she want the boob and I can't pull the boob out because I got on the dress, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I think it's just my anxiety that gets me, like, overwhelmed because I, I can't shut off everything like the thoughts of everything that i need to get done in the house it's constant like this needs to be done and that needs to be be done so in december y'all i quit my job in december um just for mental health reasons it was becoming a lot for me mentally and then y'all know the baby requires a lot i mean everybody requires a lot as a mom as a wife everybody needs you you know what i'm saying and um it just became too much with my job my job has been demanding i was there for six years and if you're in accounting and finance you already know how it is month in close it's very stressful i don't care where you are um, what company you're at but the demands that my job required like it, it was just too much for me and you know i i decided to leave because i had to do what was best for me as well as my family it was not feasible you know it was, it was sucking the life out of me basically to where i wasn't able to give 100 percent to my personal life which is more important to me so um here recently this month i started a new job um i went into accounting consulting but i tell that to say um that you know with me starting back to work starting back working i'm realizing that even though this is something that I went to school for, I am used to being a corporate America chick, like nine to five. Like I'm really starting to realize that I would much rather be doing this whole influencer thing full time. And even though I don't really consider myself an influencer right now, um, you know, I like content creation. So I, I consider myself a content creator. I really enjoy this. You know, my accounting uh, job, like being in corporate America, that allows me to tap into like my analytical side. But content creation, it allows me to tap into my creative side. So 
I consider myself to be an introvert with an extrovert personality. So accounting, you know, is very, you know, you don't really have to have much of a personality. But I feel like I have a really big personality that I just kind of tuck and hide away. And it comes out whenever I'm doing my videos because there's nobody there it's just me and my camera you know what i'm saying so i'm not immediately being judged i'm not i don't have people all around me it's like i have really bad social anxiety so you know y'all probably wouldn't be able to tell just looking through a computer screen y'all probably like she seems like very outgoing but no like people who don't know me know me but they've been around me think i'm like quiet and reserved but that's not really how i am but anyways yes i and i feel like i shied away from saying like i want to be an influencer slash content creator because i honestly think some people don't take it seriously they look at it as a joke like you sit and playing clothes all day you sit and decorate all day and it's like yes when i get paid to do it like you know what i'm saying so i want to i don't know like i've really just been enjoying like the freedom to just be me and y'all, what's funny is, like, in corporate America, y'all already know, being black in corporate America, you really be having to, like, dumb down your blackness a little bit. And being at home, working from home for the last two years, like, I be getting on calls saying, y'all, and just talking real lax. And I'm like, I want to be able to do something that allows me to be myself 24-7. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wore my natural hair all of that in corporate America. Told folks how I felt in corporate America. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't a completely different person, but... You know, I have my corporate voice, of course, you know. <laughs> I have my corporate voice. I wasn't in there, you know. You know, with my southern slang all the time. So, I'm going to figure it out. Like, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to keep doing what I got to do. But, y'all, in other news, I just had to say, I am so proud of Imai. I'm pretty sure most of y'all follow her and Chelsea. Both of them are growing like wildfires, like like weeds girl they're growing on their youtube and i cannot be more excited like i love to see other black women other women in general succeed especially us because i feel like it's harder you know what i'm saying but i am so proud of their growth like they both share their recent growth on youtube on their instagram and i was like oh my gosh i'm so happy for y'all like i don't know like it's so inspiring to see other black women like even hollow looks like janae from hollow looks baby she is such an inspiration to me because like to just see people's journey i think that's what i love the most is when people share their journey they don't just pop up like bitch i made it you know what i'm saying like you can see and there's nothing wrong with just making it but being able to see somebody's hustle being able to see here's where they started you know see them grinding and then to see their progress and where they are now like that is absolutely amazing but you know what's funny i had seen somebody make a video basically in so many words it sounded like to me the message i got was that she wanted other people to dim their light because she was not where she wanted to be as a content creator no sis don't do that you know what i'm saying like work on you and get to a place where you can be happy for other people's success regardless of where you are in life like that says a lot about a person if you're jealous or envious or can't be happy for somebody else because you ain't on the same level as them let them be an inspiration to you let that be motivation for you to grind even harder like her race is not your race me i'm gonna be happy for you to, regardless you know, if anything, I'm going to pull out a notebook and take notes. Like, what do I need to do to grow my channel? What do I need to do to be just as successful? Like, sis, let's hop on a call and let's talk about growth. Let's talk about, you know, ways that we can all sit at the table and eat. Let's motivate each other. Like, I just don't get people who aren't happy because, like, I don't know but we're almost there so i'll see y'all h and i don't know if i'm gonna record or not because i got a whole human that i gotta be responsible for so i need to be able to keep up with her more than anything so y'all i just made it home and do you ever just sit in your car when you first pull up at home 
and enjoy the peace and quiet and be great. As soon as I walk into that house, all peace goes away. And Maria sleep. And I know as soon as I pick her up, she's going to wake up. So I think I'm going to sit in my car for a minute and enjoy this moment of peace because it don't come that often. It don't come that often, you know. But anyways, y'all, I got some things from H&M, which I'll show y'all. And then I went to Home Goods and I was like, I don't feel like doing this today. I don't feel like standing in this line. It, I have the stuff in my baby. I mean, I needed it. Like, I found nice stuff, but I was like, I just, I'm not in the mood. It's just one of those days where I'm just not in the mood to shop for home decor. And I don't even know that I'll do any decorating today. I really need to finish Mackenzie's room and start on Madison's room. I need to do Kenzie's hair. I need to fold laundry. I gotta use bathroom. That's why I'm shaking like this. There's a lot of shit I need to do that I just don't feel like doing. And then you get ready for the week. I need a vacation. <laughs> I don't feel like adulting right now. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. But y'all, I'm gonna sit here, have some peace real quick, and then we're gonna go into this house, praise God. Oh, my husband's picking up something to eat, so we don't have to cook today. That's the positive, but I do need to shop for groceries, so. Instacart, that is. All right, let me go. All right, y'all, we just got home. I'm going to show y'all what I got real quick. My husband's pulling up with the food, so, baby, I got to go eat. But I got this cute, oversized, white T-shirt. Not T-shirt, flannel. Hopefully, y'all can see me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, I have a vest that I want to put on with this, y'all. I'm about to start doing, like, my batch content like I had I was on the go on Instagram at one point and then meow I had no pictures because I ain't taking more got this cute little corset thingy I bought this is kind of like a gray baby bluish type color so I got this jogger set and then I got this one this is kind of like a cream with a yellow undertone or maybe it's green I don't know but I like this because it has like the little splits on the side. So I'm gonna wear some cute leggings with this. And then I got this sweater. I'm gonna do me a little red look. Mm -hmm. And then, y'all, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Honestly, I was like, this would be cute to wear around the house. It was $35. What, what in the hell? I don't know, maybe I can wear this to dinner. That would be cute. I think it has splits on the side too, yeah. I have some cute little splits on the side, but this is what it looks like, y'all. Kind of annoyed because online I can get 20% off, in the store I could not. So I might order all this stuff online and then return it. <laughs> That's all I got. I'm about to go eat.